Hello. I wanted to take a moment to share the story of a journey that's been happening here at GPG Music for the last several months. It began when we were called out for having inappropriate categories in our music catalog. We really didn't understand what was being said at first, but we took it seriously. And once we looked into what we were told, we realized that we didn't know what we didn't know. And we decided that we were going to engage a third party firm to do some diversity, equity, and inclusion training. And the process was truly transformative for myself, for the entire company. Um, and it was, it was pretty amazing. As someone who wants to be inclusive, I really learned many ways our industry is systemically not inclusive. The words impact our students of color negatively. The titles of songs, the descriptions of songs that may relate to a cultural heritage or identity that they have, that we have no right to be appropriating. But that's kind of how it is, and so it's easy to take the system for granted. But there's a big difference between cultural appropriation and appreciation. We're no, we know we're just learning, but we will continue to look at this our materials, the descriptions, the titles, all of that, we'll look at that through this lens. Are we appropriating or are we appreciating? So what we've promised to do and what we've already done, we have crafted a diversity statement with the help of our firm Smith & Smith. We crafted a diversity statement which is going to be available on our website. We reviewed all of our titles and assessed both the music and promotional copy, the descriptions, to assure that there was cultural appreciation. We permanently removed some titles from our catalog that we felt were just wrong. With the information we have now, they were not, they were not uh, appreciative and they were, they were appropriating these, these styles or musics or melodies from people who did not authorize us to do so. And we specify now in the descriptions where the collaboration with appropriate cultural groups honors their heritage and benefits the community. We have a relationship with this community and, and permission from them to use this in a different way. Um, and now, now we say that instead of using terms that are derogatory or inappropriate. We're applying our DEI commitment to selecting music to publish from diverse composers and developing our visual designers, our hiring processes, our subcontractors, everybody involved needs to know where we stand and we need to be in alignment if we're gonna to continue to do business together. And ultimately, we hope our customer base also appreciates the need to consciously make these decisions to be appreciative and not appropriating. So, we've, uh, We've made a lot of progress on this journey. It's definitely not over, but we're very pleased with what we've learned and hope that our actions show that we are a company that is committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion in terms of people of color, gender. We want everyone involved and we're actively going to pursue finding people in those categories that want to publish music with GPG Music. Thanks for listening.